Thank you. Hello. Val, did you wait? Yeah, I ate. I ate some pizza. I actually like that pizza when it cools down a little. We'll eat on that all day today and tomorrow, probably. Man, I still look rough. Oh, it does all that. Oh, I have rings. My on. drink is falling off. What the fuck was that? Why? What? Because of the condensation. What happened? It looks haunted. It looks haunted. Bub got up and messed up the whole situation here. Get in your seat. Get in your seat. Yeah, my seat. Yep, finish eating. Hi, guys. We're back. With a car update. Hello, Melinda. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. We're back. We're gonna let a couple people get on here. Hi, Tim. Before we start. Hello, friend. Hello, Molly. I've had people asking me, so we were gonna do another live and update. Hey, you do not talk like that, youngster. Go have a seat. When you're ready to ask nicely, we'll go that route. No, Just take a breath. Eat a little bit, my love. All right. Love so cranky. We're Men all do nap. We're, and we're all a little um, cabin fevered because we don't sit around at home. Hey, Crystal. We're usually out doing something for sure. Bub's got his backyard if we're working. Mm. Okay, so here's the update. Um, we got a hold of the... She said youngster. Who said youngster? Oh, you. <laughs> young sir. She said young sir. Oh, young sir. Um... So we got a hold of the warranty place. I don't even remember what I talked about last time. Oh, um, start from the beginning. Just cover it all. Okay, yeah. So we, if you if you missed it, we were driving back from Nashville. Um, we were gonna almost home. We were, you know, the five five and a half hours from home. Um, the car messed up. The check engine light started blinking. We limped it to an auto zone. We changed out all the spark plugs and the coils. That didn't work. Um, so we limped it to a hotel. We got a hold of the dealership. They gave me, we do have a warranty, so they gave me that number. Um, we got a hold, or we towed it with AAA to the closest Dodge dealership. Um, it's been that, diagnosed. They had an opening. It's been diagnosed. It is, I even brought my paperwork. It's. It was the powertrain control modulator. Modulator? Module. Module. Yeah. Whatever it a is. computer. Anyway. Um, so then, so that's so the good news. That's it's diagnosed. The good news is it's diagnosed. They know what's wrong. Yep, and they can get it fixed. Bad, bad news, news is that it's going to take five to seven days to get the part I'm in. The um, our, hang on, hang on. I'll let you finish the video, okay? The bad news is it's going to take five to seven days to even get the part yeah. in. Um, so our our warranty covers up to three days in a hotel. We're on day two already. Um, our warranty covers up to four days with a rental car um, if if the parts take longer to come in um, so the plan now is to stay here one more night just to get closer to that five to seven days or whatever um, and then we're gonna stay here we're gonna leave Thursday morning get a rental we're gonna get a rental we're gonna drive home work our asses off this weekend um, and then we're gonna come back Monday and maybe stay a couple more days but Man. we're gonna max out what we can with the warranty thing whatever what they'll pay for yeah and get that taken care of and see what we can do but one thing we learned is if you have a vehicle that's under a hundred thousand miles and something like this goes wrong take it to a certified dealership because um even if our sorry somebody's calling me back to back even if our um our warranty wouldn't have covered the whatever this thing is the transmission whatever um it's still under the eighty thousand miles some kind of federal economy economic something there's some kind of warranty so we were only going to have to pay the he said 100 and something is what we're going to have to pay but the car itself is still covered so our warranty isn't even having to pay for the car the warranty is just going to pay for all the expenses and all that 
up to the certain amount that it pays for. So if you do have a newer car that's under 100,000 miles and something goes wrong, take it to a certified dealership and have it looked at first, correct? Because it might still be under, under warranty. Um, depending on what's wrong, if you're not in an accident, if it's Man. not anything like that. Get the warranties. Because apparently this has a lot to do with like the Cadillac converter. Like it's got a lot to do with, like it can mess up a lot of different yeah. things is what they said. Yeah. Um, so, so we're just trying to be calm, um, take it day by day. I mean, we'll be leaving Thursday. We're going to be here. Um, I guess tomorrow we're going to fire up the little grill that the Mexicans left we're back there. We're not going to do that. We're not going to I don't know, have a steak and beer. There's not a whole lot around here. There's, I mean, there's enough. We, yeah, walked, there to, is, there we is. walked to the dollar store and got some tampons. Remember, Jane, you need a plug. <laughs> you know, and it's funny because I, when I lived with my brother and he would go on trips. We did take a bath. I'd always tell him, hey, make sure you pack your pads, make sure you pack your tampons. And he's like, bitch. But, we, but we're like pretty good now. So we know. And we were like, oh, we're going to be back. It's going to be fine. Yes, thank you, Christina. Like, literally, I grew up and I didn't have like I didn't have people to tell me stuff like this my grandma was real old school like she uh she I don't know she she never went anywhere she never did anything um so this kind of stuff wasn't stuff that she learned how to do and anytime she would buy a car she would save money up and pay cash or you know what I mean like she was she was not the, um, the she didn't have any credit you know what I mean like that wasn't what my grandma did my mom always just bought cars probably off the side of the road from some guy named Bill so I don't know how to do any of this stuff the right the right way well all you had to do is just stay calm and keep keep calling um we did to get a little anxious I've been crying all day that's what she's trying to say yeah, Jamie, Jamie's had it rough today um, Val cried all day yesterday. I, I did. cried I, all I day cried today. when it happened. I didn't. I, cry, I cried and I called everybody and cried. And Jamie, today's Jamie's day. She's taking it a little harder. At least um, we're learning. And and you know the ladies have been so awesome Man, at this hotel. Like they people. really, she really gave us like some extra bottles of soap and was like here for your bubble bath. And They've like, been yeah. like I wish I could do something super nice for these people. Maybe when we get back we can get like their information. Send like and a send like a, I want I want to send them something. I'm gonna call and get a hold of like the manager and maybe see if I can send it here to the hotel if she can give it to the girls. They don't have to be nice. They don't know us. They don't know anything about. us. They don't us. have to they do anything. Anything. They have to take our money and they have to clean the rooms and. And it's just so sweet it. that there are just nice people still sometimes. You know. Man. Small things. Even two little tiny bottles of shampoo. For our bubble bath. Our bubble we did bath. all take baths. We and had nice baths. Scrubbed them. Ball. Um. Bub. We scrub bub too. Scrub bub, scrubbing bubbing. Mm -hmm. Bub's he's Bub's got name. Bub's been playing on his tablet, which he doesn't get to do often, so he's having a hell of a time. Yeah, we're doing some, um, some learning. We're keeping that going. Um, luckily, we brought his school tablet and his learning stuff, so keep that rolling. We got work, laptop, and stuff, so we'll keep that rolling and things like that. Hey, sit down. He's gonna sit right here while you eat. And yeah. Yeah. Just gonna hang tight. Yeah, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. It's just, it's, it's, it's costing. It's dim as fuck. It's costing a lot. Man. It, they're gonna reimburse um, a portion, a portion of it. So it and, and it sounds like, oh yeah, great. And it, and it is, don't get me wrong, but it's so exhausting. It's so frustrating. frustrating. And it's like, man. It's this just, is Val's fault because she said she didn't want to come home. She was like, yeah, we should, you know what, and like you know that. what, she wanted to drive to the beach. I she wanted to go to this. fucking, what was North Carolina, like six or seven I extra I hours. that Bloody Mary. She wanted to go to a blind pelican. Mm -hmm. But I had one at Doc Holiday. Um, we'll talk about that on another yeah. one. Yeah. We spent some time in downtown Nashville, and yeah. I didn't know y'all were partying like that. So. I had no Nashville. I, I had you know, no idea. You know, the only idea. bone I had to pick with Nashville, can y'all stop wearing tacky boots out there? Like, that's. That's what you do in Nashville. I guess. When in Nashville, do as the oh Nashvilleians my do. Gosh, I don't know. Yo, I, I don't guess. Know. I guess every everybody's in cowboy boots, and it's not even like. What can I say? There was no red dirt on them. There was no red it's dirt. They just bought them. Bunch of imposters. They did. They bought them right down the street. They there even was had some type of buy one get two free too. and shit like on boots. <coughs> Careful, like, I love. No. 
to stop. It was interesting for but, sure. But their bars, like they were four, three and four stories high and stuff. It was insane. I There's didn't a lot know. Going on I had no idea. Live music, and I love live music. Remember we were just talking about that. So many bands and people, and it was great. It was a lot. What? It's like it was like New Orleans, but like mm -hmm. the country version. Yeah. Like literally, it yeah. made me it made me think of Bourbon Street, but like the hillbilly country. version. Yeah. It was all... And you know what's funny is like when Bub was it's like real bright. when Bub real was bright. like a year old, we drove to New Orleans and we had him on Bourbon Street because we got there super late. And of course, knowing me, I'm like I'm going to Bourbon Street immediately. I don't care that it's 11 o'clock at night. I want to walk around. I want to see it before I sit down. Like we just got here. I have to see something after that. That fucking drive so I we walked to Bourbon Street and I had Bub in his stroller and we went to like a couple shops or whatever and and it wasn't a weekend so it wasn't like packed with drunk people but there was a lot of drunk people and people uh, people were saying a baby we got a baby on Bourbon Street we got a baby on Bourbon Street and everybody thought it was so funny and like so cool that he was down there and they were doing the same thing to him last night in Nash or the other night in Nashville and they were like oh look buddy you're getting to be out oh cool like fist bumping him and stuff out with us to party and I'm like he's he comes everywhere he's this is nothing new for him he's a tra he's a well-traveled man he, he's actually being really good he's holding it together we're not man Love we're it. in a small room together well no, it's not small but we got two beds and stuff, but anyway, thanks for thanks to Carla for getting our mail and checking the house and Jane. making sure everything's good. Thank Having you, Jane, Gracie. for taking care of Gracie. Oh, send him up here. We have the perfect the bar, bar oh, to take Caesar. We're to. taking him to the laundromat. The laundromat. It's not a bar. <laughs> not a bar at all. Mm -mm. Ask Bub. You can ask Bub about it. Yo, but. Where else can you go get a charcuterie board, a full service bar, and wash your clothes? Are you gonna eat your uh, breadstick? Okay. Bub's gotta get in on this video. Here. Bye. Oh, you're done? Yeah. Okay. I thought you wanted to talk. Oh, I'm the have a way. to have your phone. Uh, no. You don't. They don't need to see our dirty hotel room. Anyway, man. Man. Bub, Bub loves going to the bar. He keeps telling people that he goes to the bar in the casino. He went to the bar laundromat one time in Tulsa, and he tells everybody he's going to the bar. We uh, we don't condone kids in bars, unless it's the laundromat bar. And then we take him to the casino, and we go eat there sometimes. They have the big buffet that Val loves. So, you know, we get to walk through, and Bub's like this. I'm about to touch something. Mm. He's ready. Chuck E. Cheese is just a kid casino. Man, Chuck E. Cheese is a salad buffet? Chuck E. Cheese is just a kid casino. Salad buffet. It's good? Mm. Apparently it's good. Hi, Carla. Well, what do you want to do, bub? I don't know. I don't know. He said. I want you to snuggle me. No. I'm going to get back to work. Mm. Bub and Val are going to snuggle. We might, we'll check in with y'all later and see if we're feeling any better. Bye. Say bye. Bye.